Hello and welcome to This Week in Campbell Basketball. I'm Chris Haybeyer and this is your place for everything, both Campbell men's and women's basketball. What a week it's been for both the women's and men's team. A perfect 4-0 and we'll start with the men's basketball team. Marcus Burke and Chris Clemens are the top two scorers in the Big South Conference. Burke leads in field goal percentage and threes made as well. Campbell Two straight wins, starting with an 88-77 whipping of Winthrop here at home. Campbell led the defending champs for the majority of the game behind 33 points from Clemens, 17 from Burke, and a career-high 14 points from Mogolato. The men were clutch down the stretch, dropping PC on the road 83-79 on Tuesday. Campbell ended the game on a 9-2 run for the win. Clemens had 28, and Andrew Udy broke his career high in scoring for the third time in the last four games with this 22-point effort. Udy talked after the game about the win and his recent play. I think we're finally over that hump of when that last four minutes we're just kind of not playing to our potential. So I think tonight is a huge step for us because we finished out the game how we're supposed to and I think it'll help us in the future. When I get the ball, I try to make a move. My teammates did a really good job of trying to give me the ball and putting confidence in me. So I kind of give them credit. I just know that I need to be more productive inside. It helps out the guys on the outside. So I just try to do what I can and just my teammates and my coaches have put a lot of confidence in me, so that's helped me. The men's team takes on rival High Point right here at Gore Arena Friday night at 7 o'clock. President Creed is inviting the students to dinner. In the president's box, the president himself will hand out Chick-fil-A to the first 300 students. Our women's basketball team has put together two straight wins. They blew out Winthrop 72-48 to on the road on Saturday. Thanks to 15 points from Summer Price, leading three camels in double figures. Also a career-high 12 assists with no turnovers from Michaela Rouse. On Tuesday night, Price pumped in 23 points as Campbell down Charleston Southern 58-49 in Gore Arena. The Camels are currently tied for third place in the Big South Conference standings. It's an impressive feat, period, but as the voice of Campbell women's basketball Bill Priestley tells us, it's even more impressive when you throw in all of the injuries that the Campbell women's basketball team has had this year. They're still winning, thanks in part to some freshman play. Campbell women's basketball is 9-5 on the year, coming off a season where the team finished second in the Big South Conference and is picked to finish third. One of the main reasons for their success has been team defense. Last year under first-year head coach Ronnie Fisher, the team did the almost unthinkable, leading the nation in total team defense, giving up an average of 49 points per game. That staple has stayed intact for the most part, as the Fighting Camels are giving up about 53 points a game this year. Offensively, Summer Price leads the team, scoring 16 points a game, which is third in the Big South. Michaela Rouse is also third in the conference in assists. However, this season took a tumble in a game versus Norfolk State when post players and starters Hannah Long and Taya Bolden sustained season-ending injuries. Yeah, well, we talk about adversity all the time, and we've had our share of adversity with Hannah and Taya and, and BK and and obviously Haley with her knee too, uh, is, is, is had other players have had to step up. That's allowed a crop of five freshmen to not only come in, but excel in new roles on the court. Four of the first eight Big South Freshman of the Week honors have gone to Ashlyn Hampton or Lauren McNamara Clement. Hampton is coming off a career high 12 points against Asheville, and McNamara Clement is fourth on the team in scoring and second in rebounding. Initially, you were going to the game to give the starters a rest and to just do your best job on the floor, and now it's you're going into the game to start the game off, so you kind of have to go in with a, almost a different mentality of like, I'm here to start the game, and I think that takes a lot of practice, and it's still one of those things that you're continu continuing learning. Physically, you're playing more minutes. It's more taxing on your body and you get tired quickly and mentally you know you're stepping up to a bigger role than what you were ready for or what you you know it was so sudden we lost two in one game and that's really tough so mentally you had to be ready to step up. Right beside them underneath the basket is six foot freshman Kyra Davis who's averaged about eight points a game over the last three games. I feel like we adjusted to it very well and we're doing very good as a team as um, bringing in new freshmen into the lineup and gelling and just moving along with what happens. 
At the guard position, Nani Carver is shooting 34% from three-point range, and Michaela Coleman has an assist-to-turnover ratio of 1.84, both marks extremely impressive for freshmen. What's neat is they, they all have come in and have double-digit scoring games and double-digit rebounding games and have really produced. It's just a consistency factor. We've got to get more consistent so it happens night in and night out. And then the physicality of the game and the speed of the game, uh, that's something you learn through going through, and, and they're learning and doing a good job of it. As the conference season wears on, no doubt the loss of Long and Bolden will be large. But this is a team that has the makings of being very dangerous in the conference. With Price and Rouse leading the way and the freshmen coming into form quickly, this team in transition may find it has what it takes at the right time in March. The women are on the road this weekend, but we'll be back here at home on Tuesday night. You will not want to miss it. Literally, we're giving away camel hats. It should be fun. We hope to see you here at the game. If we don't, we'll talk to you next week on This Week in Campbell Basketball.